This is Twit. The kind of evolution of Android to dark mode took a few versions. And then, you know, after dark mode was a thing, people started uh, kind of looking towards a theming option. Like, why don't we have theming on Android? And we saw a little hint of that, I think, on Android 11. Uh, they they integrated some of those tools, but it's not like a full system-wide theming. There's certain elements to it. Well, now we have some pretty big Android 12 leak news. There was a doc uh, document that was shared with major partners that um, I believe it's XDA developers got a hold of. Basically, this document illustrates, at least to some degree, some of the major design changes that are likely coming to Android 12. Uh, XDA did say its authenticity cannot be completely confirmed, but they feel pretty strongly based on source and all that kind of stuff. And you know, everybody looking at this, it kind of seems like everybody's feeling like this is this is legit. So um, I, I will say before we jump into this, like I'm excited because I feel like we talk we the last two or three years, if not longer, we talk about these major revisions to Android, and it's always it's just become these little things that yes are meaningful and to the experience, but. I, I feel like I've been kind of hoping for some like big sweeping change. And I don't know if this necessarily confirms that a big sweeping change is coming, but there's a lot in here and there's screenshots and everything. So if you're not watching on video, I apologize. Look it up or, or you know check out the video to see. But what is in there? Uh, I'll try and describe it for audio listeners. An updated notification panel UI, which is just it. it I mean, trying to describe it, it's, you know, it's it's large, it's big, it's bubbly. Um, all the screenshots have this kind of like beige color style, which I don't know if that necessarily means like the new color of Android is beige. I think what it probably indicates is, is if there is a full system-wide <clears throat> theming option, this is one example of it, yeah. right? Like you could theme it that way. You could theme it a, a number of different ways. This beige color uh, theme just happens to be the one that, that is shown in these screenshots. So hopefully that's all configurable. Like I said, lots of big bubbly rounded corners all over the place. Some design uh, you know, aficionados online were really taking Google to task in these screenshots because a lot of like the rounded corners don't match each other. Like some of them are broad, some of them are really tight. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but definitely, it's a it's a design language that's different. Also, in the widgets, some of the widgets that you see on the left hand side of the screen that we're showing right now, and a, and the widget picker, it's just a different approach on what we're used to seeing in our Android UI right now. And uh, I don't know, I my my eyes are liking it. I'm I'm curious to know what you guys think. I think. Well, I think after you, Flo. Thanks, Ron. Um, I think it's really, I was looking at the screenshots earlier today and just thinking about what what I was thinking about when I first laid eyes on, was it Lollipop Marshmallow, which was the huge design change when we officially got like the material design paradigm. And that was very much a design that was parallel to what we were seeing in just like the general vernacular. And I feel like now this is just an example to try and make a point. When you go to Target, for instance, and like you walk into the big department stores and they have the displays at the very front and they're just like very perfectly color coded, usually because it's like where the clothing accessory section is. This UI, the, the examples of this UI that are on that XDA article remind me very much of the latest like blush craze, just like these very soft pastels as like hues. We've been seeing a lot of this in this Google product design. So it very much matches the kind of the kind of idea, the kind of way that Google would style you if this was a promo shot for, you know, the Nest Audio or something or other. So mm. I feel like it matches. Kind of softer. This, yes, it's just this new, like very soft Android. And it's a very different approach from the hard angles, the, um, the layered material design that we're very used to. The thing that we sort of have known Android for all this time. Um, and I think it actually makes it a little more approachable. 
Yeah, it's it's interesting because, you know, Jason, you mentioned that, you know, we we've been, you know, analyzing the recent Android versions and talking about the iterative changes and just like it hasn't been a sweeping kind of design uh, paradigm shift. And I looked it up and like material design got added to Android in 2014. Yeah. Right. So it's been. I mean, closer to a decade of this yep. than it hasn't been. But that said, if you look at Android when Material Design got rolled out in in you know the mid twenty aughts versus how it is now, it looks completely different. It has evolved. In in fact, I would say the design on Android has never looked better, has never been sharper. But it, it's it's this weird sense of sameness that we felt because it's been so iterative and so gradual. And you know, like. You know, every, every time you 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 know a new version comes out, like oh, this is a little rounder, or oh, the fonts are unified here, or this you know this interaction changed and all this sort of stuff. And it you know it recently did leave me wondering, okay, when are we gonna shake it up? And if this is gonna mm -hmm. shake it up, I I think it I think the time is right. I think it's been it's 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 I don't know if it's long overdue, but it's like exciting to have a different approach than an iterative approach that we that we've had. So it's um, long overdue. I think it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's long overdue. Um, I want to just, I guess, put a theory out there that I sort of have, which is that, I don't know, Android has just always felt very, to, to put it plainly, nerd-centric. You know, I've been playing with some of these older phones lately that are on, like, Android 4 or Android 5 because... Um, I've been using playing with some like older older hardware. So these are things that haven't been updated in years. And just that interface, it was a very hard sell back then because it didn't really it wasn't really approachable for everybody. So I really like this new soft approach. Um, I, I don't know. I just I, I want to dive deeper into it because this is not just an Android thing. The first the other thought I had when I first saw these screenshots is that, oh, my God, it looks very like Apple like. And just mm -hmm. the screenshots I've seen with the way people have customized their new iOS home screens now that they can, you know, go a little further with that. It reminds me very much stuff. of that approach. Um, and I, I do like it. It does get me excited and it does make me want to see what that's going to look like on a pixel. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's one of the questions that I have is are we looking are we looking at Android uh let's say like vanilla as as a term we haven't used in a while like are we looking at vanilla Android or are we looking at the Pixel launcher? I'm not really quite sure. You know what I mean? And I suppose we'll we'll find out cuz I could totally see the Pixel launcher being you know I guess where I come down on this is I'm excited for it, but the question that I have is if um, if we like it and this was a look at a new color OS or oxygen OS UI versus a stock Android UI, would we like it then? You know what I mean? <laughs> Interesting. I yeah. Like, so, so when it's, when it's not the stock Android, yeah, right. I, 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 I'm totally guilty of this as well. And I know exactly what you're getting at. It's like, give me stock Android and then any variations on this. I'm always like, eh, it's not. The it's not, it's not what it's meant to be. It's not yeah. what it's supposed to be, and mm. it's a little too Samsung UI for me, or whatever it might a be. Too stylized. So that's, a very, that's a very good point. But like, but the thing is, is that the Android stock UI is what out is what the baseline is, and then yeah. and, and what happens on top of that, then to your to your point, just gets completely um, compared or gets you know analyzed in comparison to that stock as that baseline. So like you know to you know flow to your point, this blush kind of I know someone in the chat room called it feminine you know kind of style to it. You know if that was the baseline, that that's a very good question because honestly, while I like the idea of seeing something different and a new de par design paradigm, I hope this is a theme because honestly. The, that color palette doesn't really resonate it with is. me. You know, you it's know, right? yeah, it is a theme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Google Agreed. is bold colors, and I think just they're introducing that as sort of. I think that that's what we're going to see. Let's just say this is for real, for real. That is something that we would see on the advertising because that is how the current crop of devices are being uh, stylized, mm -hmm. which of course appeals to me because I'm, I'm a suburban mom. <laughs> 
I'm glad you're embracing it. I, like, come on, have you guys not noticed all the collared shirts I've been wearing in the last couple of weeks? Like, slowly my wardrobe is turning into like a, a woman'sy zone. So, <laughs> you know, I'm another thing I noticed, another thing, and not about your clothes or anything about this, uh, <laughs> is this would be Android 12. Android uh -huh. 12 is S. If you really want to continue going down the the um, all right. The, the the treats and stuff. This is a very soft look. So maybe this is Android uh, soft serve or Android soft Ooh. drink. Well, like soft, that. I would, it wouldn't be a soft serve is better because that could be Carvel and I'm game for Carvel at any time. Soft drink isn't really a dessert though, Jason. So what, what, it's not a dessert, so, but it, it is a sweet treat. Could it be? Is it a? Well, okay, maybe. Yeah, it is. Um, it's could, like could the it sweetest of treats. It's like literally sugar water. <laughs> what if it's a Mister Softy? Souf Soufflé. I'm actually, I, and this, I, this is there. Th this is a divisive topic, flow that you're stepping into because uh, Mister Softy is beloved by yes. many. I've only uh, had but, it in the East Coast. But I, yeah, and 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 the classic. Mr. Softy truck in Manhattan is is a well known kind of thing, yes. uh, but I am firmly on the side of Carvel. Uh, Carvel is there is no greater delight in the world than a Carvel soft serve hot fudge sundae. Oh, it's wonderful. So 